There we go. Shannon, we're very catch you as you're checking into the hotel. Yeah. <laughs> Had to drop all my bags on the side. <laughs> Put the fiance to work. Yeah, exactly. Earn his keep. Um, <laughs> I guess he's already done it with the ring though, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, tomorrow we got the two mile. Yeah. Uh, you know, a, a sort of a strange event. Not We don't see it that often. Yeah. Um, you know, your 3,000 PR is better than the American record equivalent. Do you think you can get that 920 mark? Or what's the, what's the plan? What, what's the decision for the two mile? Yeah, I mean, I think it's definitely within my capability. Um, of course, you know, you got to bring it on the day and hope that everything comes together well. But I think given my 3K PR, um, I definitely have the ability for it. Um, I don't know if I've ever run a two mile. I've done the 3K, I've done the 32. It was funny looking at the entries. I think only two people actually had two mile PRs. So who knows if I'll ever have a chance to do the two mile again. So um, at the very least, I'll end up with a PR. Um, but I'm hoping I can come out of it uh, sub 920. That would be pretty good. And is that why the meet was running a two mile, or did they just decide, did you know how that came about? I don't know. I think, uh, you know, I noticed indoors this year and last year, there were a lot of people doing off distances, just trying to chase some records that have not been chased in a while. And, you know, I think maybe carrying out that trend through the outdoor season. It's an off year, so it's a chance to kind of play around with stuff. And um, so I'm game. Let's go play. <laughs> and then after this, you know, yeah, you know, you got those sort of agonizing PR, two flat, four flat. <laughs> 15 flat. A whole laundry list. Yeah. Um, what, do you know what the focus is? I mean, you're pretty happy with the way the training's going. Do you, have you been able to pinpoint any races you're going to go for? Um, I think the plan is to Paris to try to go after the 1500 there, Monaco, um, a 5K there. Um, I think I might do the eight maybe even at USA's as a prep for Paris. So that would be kind of fun and different. Um, so really using this season to just uh, race the whole whole range of events um i think one of my biggest strong points is that i can race anything from the 8 to the 5k and um i want to keep just getting better at, at, at each one of those distances because i think um you know they all help the others so um it it teaches me things both mentally um for tactics and all that and then also yeah the physical development and you know you're a pretty experienced athlete but you got a new coach this year yeah how much different is your training under coach salazar and than, than years past and uh, does he come to you because you've been obviously very successful or, or is it totally different like how has that been in terms of how we started together or, or no how the... how does this year compare to years past are you doing the same training you've always done or, and he comes to you and says hey Shannon what's worked for you mm. or does he have kind of have his system and you're doing new totally new stuff yeah I mean he it's his system and you know I think I think the worst thing you can do is go to a coach and try to tell them how to coach you so I definitely came in um you know, we had talked beforehand and I shared what I'd done and he shared what his philosophy was and you know of course there's tweaks that a coach needs to make for each athlete because um, each athlete is physically different but um uh, but uh he you know I he's the coach and I really respect what he does so training has been in some ways very similar in some ways very different I mean coach Cook and Alberto are both Nike coaches they both work together for some for a little bit um, so you know they have some things in common um, but I think you know the volume has been higher um, the intensity has been higher there is a little bit more recovery in between the sessions so you know um, I think the biggest difference I've noticed is just with my old training program it was maybe a little bit lower in the volume but every day was maybe a little bit more intense versus with Alberto, the highs and lows are more dramatic. So I think it's kind of nice. I mean, um, you know, I'm, I've am i been a professional athlete for a little while now, and it's nice to kind of mix things up and try to simulate the system in different ways. And so far, it seemed to be responding well, so it's been good. Yeah, and you guys as a group didn't do the, the world relays. Was there any thought to that? And um, You know, I, I was really excited by the idea of the relays. I think the timing of it wasn't the greatest. Um, had it been, you know, maybe in, late August or September, there's no question I would have gone on the team. It just, uh, yeah, it was kind of a little tough to be traveling all the way out there and then come back for, for pre and all the other meets of the season. Um, so I'm hoping in the future that I can be on that World Relay team. I think USA could have uh, given Kenya a run for their money, but um, of course you have to just put together the best team that we possibly can just like they did so you know i think the women did a wonderful job representing us and i hope i can be one of those women in the future we're good we're well, good luck tomorrow hopefully 9 19 yeah okay. <laughs> thank you thank you